Hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to be talking about di neutron diffusion and boundary conditions. So uh, first off, let's go ahead and get started by considering the case where we have uh, a diffusing medium next to an infinite vacuum. So let's say that um, over here on in this region of the world, uh, we have a diffusing medium, right? So, oops, uh, we have some sort of uh, 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 material. Let me uh, that we're diffusing through, and over here we have uh, so I'll just like material. I'll mark that, and then this is some um, vacuum. Okay. Um, so if what we want to look at here is the flux, right? So if we want to look at phi as a function of our distance x here um, in our area, uh, the diffusing medium, and, and then we have the surface, we have the flux that's diffusing and it'll come sort of down here. Um, uh, but then what we end up with is this huge discontinuity because we know in the vacuum it has to go to zero. Um, and so this piece is discontinuous. And that is uh, uh, unfortunate, right? That violates our assumption of continuity. Um, and so uh, what we would what we find is that the actual flux is something that uh, drops off oops, uh, a lot faster because of this diffusing medium. Um, and so what we want to know is how do we calculate this actual flux versus what diffusion theory alone would tell us. Um, and so uh, we do this through um, uh, we do this through uh, going ahead and applying boundary conditions to the differential equations that we have been looking at. Um, right? And the reason this is true is because in this vacuum there's nothing to send the neutrons back in. So the flux here out in this vacuum has to go to zero eventually. Um, and so because we're, we're, we want to modify the flux shape slightly, um, we want to go to zero slowly over some extrapolation distance d. Okay, so the trick is that rather than going to to zero immediately, we we're, we're going to go to zero uh, slowly, and thus, oops, uh, preserve our extrapolation or preserve our um, uh, preserve our continuity. So here again, we have the material. I'm just going to draw um, uh, this example. And let's say our material has a thickness of A over here. Um, so we have A goes from and it goes off into the distance this way. And then um, what we have is right near the boundary, we have our flux. Um, here and then this goes linearly down to zero um, over some distance d. Okay, uh, little d that we'll call our extrapolation distance. So this goes to there. Sorry, let me. Right. So d goes. D operates in this region. A is the thickness of the slab. So. Um, Instead of solving for the problem with the original boundary, which is here, we're going to solve for the problem with a modified boundary, um, uh, uh, a tilde, or um, a or which will equal a plus a uh, uh, plus d here. So let's try this out. So we'll say a. This is supposed to be above, but a tilde above equals a plus d. So let me go ahead. Right, so this is equal to that total, oops, <laughs> uh, 
this is equal to this total distance here. Okay, so, um, oops, writing this out, we have, I think this is how you do it. Uh, yep, so A tilde uh, equals A plus D, right? So pl our original boundary condition is distance um, uh, and our extrapolation distance so that we know um, in this case, oops, that the flux at A tilde, so phi at uh, uh, tilde of A is equal to zero. Right, um, and this allows us to satisfy generic boundary conditions for any two regions A and B, um, and uh, that's basically the trick to allowing us to solve these equations when we have a vacuum on the one side. And in particular, if we want to know what D is, um, what's a suitable distance for D, um, for the moment we can take D is equal to 2.3 or 2.13 times the diffusion coefficient, right? So this is d is again measured in distance. Whoops, <laughs> uh, I should not put the asterisk there. 2.31 times d, uh, or 2.13 times d. And uh, if you add those things in, then um, uh, you uh, are able to solve for uh, problems with. Uh, elements in a vacuum. Okay, well that's all for right now and thanks for watching and I will talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.